All right, now that we've established this, um, what we want to do is go into right click here, split area. Go back to UV image editor. Click on the model. Hit tab. Don't freak out. <laughs> Always have to say that. And go select all. And what I want to do is I want to export this. So to do that, I go UV, export UV layout. And I'll name this color template. And what I want to do is make the size uh, relatively high because what we didn't want to do is maintain a high res resolution. So I'm going to choose 4096 for this. I don't export. That might take a second. 4096 is pretty big in in 3D terms. So over here, I'll go back and hit tab. There we go. So this is still foldable box number at underscore three. And what I want to do now is go into maybe uh, since we're in Inkscape. Let's maintain the knowledge of Inkscape. So I'll just open. And there should be a PNG here. Notice that the PNG is not here, so it's probably on my desktop. There we go. I want to embed and hit OK. And embedding means I'm not really physically changing the file when I do this. All right, now let's add this to a new layer. Let's see, template, so I'll click on this, then right click on it and say move to layer, template. And now I can toggle that on and off and I can lock it. I can also set the opacity rather low so it's not annoying. Good. To get my bearings here, um, basically uh, when you switch over to Inkscape, when you hold Control and Wheel Mouse, that's zoom in, but Blender is Alt and Wheel Mouse, so it's rather discombobulating sometimes to get get back into the flow of 2D. Now you can decorate this however you want. Um, you know, when it, when I when I have this course. I don't think the students have any Photoshop experience whatsoever. Um, so we're going to rely mainly on just text and, and kind of a layout method of looking at things rather than a visual thing. But you can make it as visual as you want. Um, so in the next video, what I want to do is show you how to decorate this. Uh, and you can choose anything you want off the internet, really. I don't really mind anything. It's just I want a visual understanding that you know how to put the texture on the model. Okay? So let's go on to the next video.